Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The direct purchase inquiry line for pricing from you to me and my crew for this watch or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. And today we are discussing the new for 2019 Rolex Oyster Perpetual GMT Master II 126719 BLRO, the new three-day white gold Pepsi. So the timepiece you see right here is a modification of the watch that bowed for 2018. That was the first white gold oyster bracelet ceramic bezel Pepsi with a blue dial, but that still used the older caliber. This uses the 3285, which is a 70 hour caliber with the Rolex Chrono G escapement and many underlying revisions. So this is not the same watch from last year, even though it looks identical. This one is mechanically upgraded. It's also a year newer. Now the watch is 40 millimeters in diameter, surprisingly slim at 12.1 millimeters thick, lug to lug 48 millimeters. And if you include the solid end links of the bracelet side to side, it has a 51 millimeter span across the wrist. Spacing between the lugs is still 20 millimeters if you're crazy enough to throw a strap on this thing. But the bracelet, trust me, leaves nothing to be desired. Solid, secure, handsome, perfectly proportioned and comfortable. You'll appreciate that on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, the watch wears easily. If you've ever worn a 40 millimeter Rolex past or present, you're gonna find this one fits comfortably. Though, be alert, there is a lot of gold here and you really feel the mass. It's as substantial as any other brand's platinum watch would be. That's how good a full gold Rolex watch feels today. Part of the reason for that is that the bracelet has solid end links, solid center links, a milled clasp, and the case back is made of gold, not sapphire. The deer metal, of course, gray gold here, not really white gold. The difference is this is a white gold alloy that's 18 karat white gold all the way through, unlike standard white gold, which is sort of milky yellow and then needs to be rhodium plated from time to time. This is white all the way through. Polished centers, polished outer flanks, satin shoulders, screw fixed removable links, as God intended. And you'll appreciate that there's a double locking system. There's a beak and a hook. So this actually locks shut and then you lock the clamshell. So it's double locked. There's a kerf right there. You need to dig your nail in, but Rolex gives you that little slot to slide internally, all of high polish, nicely finished with an easy link system. So you have that five millimeters of tool free adjustment. It's like adding or removing one of these sizable links. You'll also note internally, there are a couple of divots with little tracks drilled. So you can easily change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp using your strap tool. Okay, close all that up. Take a look at the case band. Simple. Since the advent of the super case, there hasn't been much to say here. And the GMT back in 2005 debuted the super case. Sheer sides, squared off ends. It's robust and muscular, even if lacking a bit in elegance. Satin finished tops, and as you can see, substantial sheer guards for the crown. This is a trip lock crown. Even though the watch is 100 meters rated, I've always suspected that the Yachtmaster and the GMT are a bit more water resistant than claimed. Uh, the trip lock crown, which you'll also find on the Daytona, features the three dots with the large center dot when you're looking at a trip lock in gold. It would be a large set of flanking dots and a small center dot if this were platinum. 100 meters water resistant, as I mentioned, with a bi-directional rotating bezel. Now you can see that bezel features a ceramic cap and the numerals and the indices as well as the triangular index. Those are all platinum deposits inside the ceramic. You note that the ceramic here has a rather pastel-like tone and that is just the color of Rolex ceramic. They've said in the sort of after the fact rationalization that they wanted to evoke the Bakelite bezel of the original 6542 GMT. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now you can see the bezel turns in both directions, and in conjunction with the 24-hour GMT hand, you can actually read three time zones temporarily off this dial if you set that 24-hour hand to GMT, and then use the local airport or port offset with the bezel, three time zones. Independently settable, 12-hour hand at center. You see how I can actually set that hand independently. I can even drive the date forward or backwards if I'm jumping the international date line. If I pull the crown, I get stop seconds or hacking, and now I can move everything in sync. This watch is all about its bezel and its dial. And as you can see, the dial of this watch is a lush blue lacquer, bottomless, glossy, gleaming. It looks like wet paint, and it's as evocative and emotional as the best enamel would be. White gold indices and hands also to resist oxidation and tarnish. You can see that this is a modern Rolex watch of the last few years, really the last three years or so, because the addition of the little Rolex crown between Swiss and made at six o'clock. Inside the case, a new movement, Rolex caliber 3285, 31 joules automatic winding, 70 hour power reserve, courtesy of a larger mainspring inside a thinned out barrel, a revised drivetrain, a new Kronergy escapement using Leica etched components. That is basically Rolex's answer to 
to Omega's coaxial system. A COSC chronometer certified, yes, but Rolex adjusts the fully cased up watch in six positions rather than the chronometer five to ensure the watch runs minus two plus two seconds per day or better versus the COSC minus four plus six. And that is the superlative chronometer standard. That's why it's written on the dial these days. Okay, 28 8 beat rate, so 8 beats per second or 4 hertz. It's also a tough movement with a free sprung balance and a full balance bridge anchored on both sides for shock resistance. An overcoil hairspring, Breguet overcoil, made by hand to help the watch keep excellent time in all six adjusted positions and to earn that chronometer certificate. And finally, the hairspring is made of blue oxidized niobium zirconium, which is highly anti magnetic. That is the Parachrom blue alloy. Finally, this new rotor system is born on a bearing rather than the old jeweled staff to make Make it more impact tolerant. This is a watch that puts it all together. See it and make it yours on the Watchbox. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. The GMT by Night. Rolex Chromalite Blue.